Do you ever wonder how stress impacts your health? You're not alone. There's a hidden connection between chronic stress and various health issues that's often overlooked. From many experts' research sources, we're beginning to understand the profound effects stress can have on our bodies. When stress becomes chronic, it can lead to a host of health problems, both mental and physical. Think about it. Anxiety, depression, heart disease, high blood pressure, the list goes on. These aren't just abstract concerns, they're real issues that can arise from unmanaged stress. So it's clear that managing stress is not just about feeling better, it's about preserving our health. But how do we know when stress has crossed the line from being a part of life to becoming a health concern? This question is critical as understanding the signs of excessive stress can lead to early intervention and prevention of potential health issues. Stress can manifest in various ways and it's essential to be mindful of these signs. Changes in behavior are one of the most common indicators. You may find yourself feeling restless, unable to concentrate, or experiencing an overwhelming sense of worry or fear. Your eating and sleeping habits may alter, and you might also notice a decrease in productivity or enjoyment in activities you once loved. Physical symptoms also play a significant role in signaling excessive stress. These can include headaches, stomach issues, muscle tension, and even rapid heart rate. Chronic stress can lead to more serious health problems, such as high blood pressure and heart disease. The key is to be aware of these signs and not dismiss them as merely having a bad day. It's important to remember that everyone experiences stress differently, and what may seem like a minor inconvenience to one person can be a significant stressor to another. Remember, recognizing the signs is the first step towards managing stress effectively. Now that we know the signs, what can we do about it? Well, the first step in managing stress is self-awareness. This means understanding what causes you stress and recognizing how you react to it. It's about being in tune with your body and mind and acknowledging when you're feeling overwhelmed. It's not always easy, but it's crucial. Next, we need to think about healthy stress relief techniques. This could be anything from deep breathing exercises to taking a walk outdoors. The key is to find something that works for you. It might be painting a picture, reading a book, or even just sitting quietly with a cup of tea. Whatever it is, make sure it's something that helps you relax and unwind. Exercise is another excellent way to cope with stress. When you exercise, your body releases endorphins, which are natural mood lifters. Whether it's a brisk walk around the block, a yoga session, or an intense workout at the gym, moving your body can help you shake off stress and feel better. Finally, let's talk about self-care. This isn't just about bubble baths and face masks, although those can certainly be part of it. It's about making sure you're eating well, getting enough sleep, and taking time for yourself. It's about saying no when you need to, and setting boundaries to protect your well-being. Importantly, some stressors can't be eliminated, and that's okay. What matters is how we react to them. We can't control everything that happens to us, but we can control how we respond, and that's where self-care really comes into play. It's about taking care of your mental and physical health, even in the face of stress. Never underestimate the power of good self-care. It's not just about pampering yourself, it's about taking care of your mental and physical health. So there we have it, a quick overview of how stress impacts our health and what we can do about it. We've learned that chronic stress can lead to a host of mental and physical health problems, with warning signs including changes in behavior and physical symptoms. But it's not all doom and gloom. Through self-awareness and the application of healthy stress relief techniques, such as exercise and self-care, we can effectively manage our stress levels. Remember, for those stressors that just can't be eliminated, it's our reaction that counts. We hold the power to control how we respond to stress, and in doing so, we can maintain our overall well-being. It's time to take action. Let's prioritize our mental health and commit to minimizing stress in our lives. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on mental health at Glee Glow Junction. We're dedicated to keeping you informed and empowered. Take care and remember, together we can build a supportive and resilient community. Stay tuned for the next Glee Glow Junction.